Mother's Day today. Normally I have a bunch of pranks planned and this day kind of came out of nowhere. So uh, just stay tuned. We'll think of something funny for somebody. So welcome back to another work week vlog. This is a very chaotic week. Let me just start off by saying last week was absolutely crazy. And it was a short week because we had Good Friday off. So we only had to work, you know, four days. And I still had to take 10 hours of annual leave because I, I did not have time to work. <laughs> I ended up having two water leaks in my house and then I popped a tire. So between the plumber and the tire shops I had to go to to get all that fixed, it just took up a lot of time. And then I had two recruiting events that were out of town for work. And then this weekend was Easter weekend, but it was also extremely busy. So I'm, I'm just warning you guys, I feel like I'm at high risk of burning out, spinning my wheels, we may be crashing and canceling all plans at some point this week. So, <laughs> realistic view into heaven's life for this work week. But happy Monday, April 1st. I logged on to work at 7.45 this morning. So those of you that are new here are like, this already looks like a hot mess express. Welcome aboard, choo-choo. My name's Heaven, I'm a CPA. So I'm a state employee. Um, I'm a state auditor, legislative auditor. They've changed our title so many times. State agency auditor. <laughs> My current client is an out of town client right now. So we travel on site like every three weeks. We go, I go to the office sometimes, I work from home. I've actually worked from home a lot more lately than I like. That's only because I just moved into a new house and I'm still trying to get situated and having to schedule all the people to come work on stuff. And like my handyman's coming on Wednesday. And then I actually have a lady coming over today, hopefully, fingers crossed, to come by my couch. I just wanted to say welcome. Happy Monday. We'll see what we get into this week. Hey guys, I'm gonna make a smoothie, but I didn't go grocery shopping this weekend because again, crazy, crazy life lately. So let's see what we have to make a smoothie with. All right, this will be my little second breakfast at 9.30 in the morning. Okay, we're gonna take a small little field trip because there's been a bird nest outside of my light on my porch for like a month now. And she's never left her nest and she's not there right now. And I wanna see what's in the nest. So cute. Oh my gosh, I think I just found the daddy bird. That's gotta be dad. And there's mama looking right at me. <laughs> oh my gosh, birds grow so fast. Why did I expect them to be eggs in that nest? Not full grown birds. That was so cool. All right, it's 11.30. I need to take a break. I've been chugging along this morning. I need to walk Cole Nug because he deserves to go on a walk today. And then I also need to run to Cole's. Cole and Cole's. That's funny. To return an Amazon package. And I want to do this today just because it's been sitting here for like two weeks and it's driving me nuts. And I want to get it out of my house. And then a lady is coming to buy my couch at one o'clock today. happened was I passed the mall to get to Kohl's. I was like, it's a work day, won't be crowded. I had to get my pizza. That's literally the only reason I ever go to the mall, is to go to Sabaro. Surprise visitor! Hi, Who is it, Cole Nug? Hi, Who is it, Bubs? Hi. All right, I'll see you another oh, time, no, okay? To leave. Bye bye, and see you another time, okay? All right guys, I got the couch and everything all ready for that lady to come by it. And then Tyler came over just in case it was some creepy situation since it's a stranger and I'm by myself. And she ended up just coming to look at it because she had a little sports car. So she may come back tomorrow to buy it. I also have two other people messaging me about it. So we'll see what happens. Oh my goodness, you guys, it's 4.30, we're logging off. I just had the most productive like two and a half hours and I completely finished the Sabita section, which screw Sabitas, they are complicated. <laughs> it's a new accounting standard. I think it's Gatsby 96. That's software-based information technology arrangements. It's basically like if your client has Microsoft Office products, if they use an accounting software. Gatsby now requires that to be separately disclosed in the notes and then separately like they have to have their own accounts on the ledger, their own line items on the financial statements. So basically that was already already included in your capital assets and stuff, but now it has to be broken out separately. And it's not very easy on breaking it out. And especially on the amortization schedules and figuring out the discounted present value and oh, it's awful. So <laughs> I spent weeks toying with it, but then last week I meant to finish it. I wanted to sign off on it last week, but I really needed my thinking cap to finish off doing the amortization schedule. And I just couldn't find it. I like just lost my thinking cap last week. 
So we found it today. We got it all signed up, which is super exciting. Okay, y'all, it's 4.30. I have another person coming at six o'clock to come look at the couch. Let's hope that they're normal and I don't get murdered. I'm really thankful that Tyler came for my protection earlier today. I'm not gonna ask him to come again today. I think it'll be fine. We'll take our chances. Um, I need to mow my lawn and then I need to water my grass after that because I planted grass seed all in my backyard. Did a lot of work in the backyard, but we need to mow the front yard and the backyard. So I need to do that. check is 550 I mowed both lawns and then did some weed eating and I'm highly allergic to grass you guys okay so this lady's coming over to hopefully buy the couch she said she's bringing a truck so we'll see if they like it and I can sell my couch and then I need to go grocery shopping and that's the end of my Monday goals it's been a long busy productive day they just loaded up the, the couch and everything so it is no longer here you guys it's gone I'm gonna go grocery shopping grab a few things we're not gonna do a full-blown grocery shopping I actually need to get some staple items all right guys i went to kroger so quick little grocery haul green beans cheese little tomato strawberries a ton of yogurt because i've been going through a lot of yogurt lately sour cream some beef my breakfast bars my weakness i don't actually like veggie straws fun fact but we're gonna make myself like them because i need some healthier chips because i gotta get off the cheetos croutons spinach and some waffles 75 bucks i'm so glad i remembered i left my eggs i kind of hid them in my trunk so they didn't crack i put them between blankets so glad i remembered that i bought eggs <laughs> all right guys i made me a little bit of dinner when i got back from the store it is eight o'clock we just made a salad so i steamed some green beans in the bag i've got little tomatoes i have some minced garlic some fresh onion my croutons and some mozzarella cheese usually i do the mozzarella balls but i could not find them at that kroger today and i'm I'm still learning my new grocery store since moving here, but I'm so excited. Oh, an olive oil, Italian seasoning, um, and some pepper. Happy Tuesday, you guys. I just logged on at eight this morning. So I'll be starting on the audit report today, which I love working on the audit report just because I'm a type A, super detail oriented. I love Word. We do a lot of parts of the audit report actually in Excel. So I'll be working on all that today. And then I have a haircut. I moved it from four o'clock in the afternoon to 11. I texted my friend Madison who's cutting my hair because we have some really big nasty storms coming today. Haircut, answered some emails, I'm back at work, but let's text Tyler a picture of when my hair used to be really short. I'm gonna send this to Tyler. I'm gonna say, decided to chop it all off since summer is coming. I'm gonna put a little hard eyes, like I love it. Okay, so he replied, but he said that picture isn't loading, so I'm guessing, and then he dropped some photos of like beautiful hair that I could never pull off. Also, I'm very surprised he didn't just FaceTime me to see what my hair looks like in person. <laughs> He said it just came through and he put these hard eyes. <laughs> we got him though. We got him. Hi. I love it. Okay, well, I'm glad. Also, I can't see you, but. I know. I'm glad you're loving the short hair idea. I love it. It looks amazing on you. Well, I didn't do it. <laughs> that wasn't all. Oh, what? Was that an old picture of you? Yeah. Did you cut off? How much you cut off? I got three inches off. Oh, okay. It still looks great at you. It's almost 2.30 and I'm gonna lay down for a nap. My work got reviewed today and I can't figure out how to get my schedule to tie to the penny. 
and I think it's simple accounting math, but I just don't have it today. So we're gonna take a little nap. We're gonna try again, log back on to save some time. So to sit there trying to force my brain to puzzle through it. I just need a nap. We just need rest for a little bit. I ended up sleeping for like two hours, which is much longer than I expected, but it felt so nice. And then I worked for another hour. So I only worked five and a half hours today, but we're just gonna have to do a short day today because this wind is really picking up. And my Bible said it got canceled because of the storms. It's supposed to be like really bad tonight. And I forgot I'm going to Nashville tomorrow for work and I gotta take the cold nug to my sister's house so she can watch them while I'm gone. So we're gonna go take the cold nug to Sissy Lyric's house so we get to see Wrangler and Rainbow. Right. Oh my god! It's been a while! <laughs> I made it back from my parents house dropping off cold nug with my sister my parents are still RVing around living their best life but they'll be home after the eclipse I ate a little snack on the way here Ellie handed me a frozen star with granola lyrics said it was made with like strawberries and Greek yogurt it was like a healthy summer treat so I'm not starving so I just made a little eggo waffle two slices of Colby Jack with an egg and then I meant to spread the laughing cow cheese on the waffle and forgot, but I want to eat it. So it's just sitting on top. I'm going to have a Greek yogurt. All right, guys, I ate dinner, ran the dishwasher. I'm kind of in storm mode of just preparing. I've got all the windows shut. I parked in the carport for the first time in case there's hail coming, which I think there is. Moved everything from my deck inside. I need to pack a bag for my trip tomorrow. And I, I'm just so low energy today. Today, I told you guys this was going to happen after how productive and crazy yesterday was. Like I know myself and I knew I was going to run out of steam and I even had a nap today and I'm still just so tired. So I'm just gonna lay in bed, read my Bible, and I have two books I'm reading for fun. So I'm just gonna chill out. But we are currently under a tornado watch, not warning, but it could develop into a warning. We'll see. Good morning. Happy hump day. We survived the storms. They were crazy. I first fell asleep around 8 30, which is so early. <laughs> and it's literally 7 30 now. So I spent a lot of time in bed. <laughs> So we had a couple change of plans today. I feel like this whole week we've had a lot of change of plans, but my handyman was supposed to come over today, um, but he's sick, so he won't be coming today. We're just gonna do our training all day today. It's an Excel class, and I've heard it's pretty beginner, but there's always shortcuts I get to learn. So I'm kind of excited about it. 7.45, I'm gonna log on at eight, so I'm gonna get one hour in before my training starts. Since I'm on Eastern time, my training ends at 5.30. It's a Nashville class, so it's really eight to 4.30, nine to 5.30 my time, and then we'll hit the road to Nashville for my training tomorrow and then filming and stuff so tomorrow's gonna be kind of a hectic i don't really know what to expect about tomorrow that's how that's gonna go also i left you guys hanging about my thinking cap situation yesterday i was trying to figure out then i took a nap because my brain was not calculating on the sabitas the sabita liability does not match the sabita asset and i had to figure out why and i couldn't figure it out so took a nap got back to it yesterday i found the difference like i found where it's at it's in this implementation cost but i didn't know why or if that's okay or whatever whatever. So I emailed my client. She just got back with me explaining the situation. Now I've got to figure out if this is actually okay or not. The whole section's immaterial anyway. So it's just, we're digging into it for no reason really. So hopefully I can get this squared away in the next 45 minutes and then log on to my training and have this done. Oh my gosh, you guys, that was the most intense hour because I just had to revise like six work papers that were already signed off because of a small little revision we made that had like a trickle effect through all these work papers, just signed off on all of them, told my audit client these are the revisions we're gonna make, sent that to her, and it is 8.59. <laughs> I did that so fast. I also had to get my coworker to get out of his work papers so I could change it really quick. I think everything is squared away and done for that until we find something else. <sighs> I just went at turbo speed for an hour. What a way to start the day. Happy Wednesday. some more change of plans. This whole week has been like, just throw the whole agenda out the window. We're just gonna make it up as we go because everything keeps changing on me. So we're on an hour lunch break and I only have 15 minutes left because I was on the phone with Tyler and then had to figure out some things. So 
time always flies by when you're logged off. You know what I mean? I am no longer going to Nashville tonight. So long story short, that training tomorrow, there's a hybrid option where I can do it from home. But I wanted to go to Nashville because I want to see my people because I was also going to help with the video that we're filming. But they don't need me. So they luckily we were able to find enough people to be in the video, which is never the case because no one ever wants to be on video. <laughs> we work with a bunch of accountants. So I just called the hotel and canceled it. I think I need to stay home. That's the plan. So now I have 15 minutes. Oh, these potatoes have been here for like three weeks. I'm surprised they haven't multiplied into more potatoes. Maybe we can just toss some potatoes on a baking sheet and just eat them, snack on later. This guy has reproduced. Interesting. Which one is your girlfriend? <laughs> Alright guys, it is 5.30. We did not get out of class early today. <laughs> so, because I'm not going to Nashville tonight, I think I may actually get to see Tyler for a little bit. My corn dog! And now we're hanging out at a restaurant because <laughs> Tyler's going to meet me here. <laughs> Alright guys, I just got home. It is 10 o'clock. My chin is always so red because I get beard rash from Tyler. I picked up the corn dog, so we have him now. So, I'll talk to you guys in the morning. Good morning, you guys. Happy Friday Eve. So, it's Thursday. I'm going to go to the office today. It is almost 7.30. I'm going to try and bring my wrap from last night. With some ranch. A cheese stick. A yogurt. Freezer packs. Beer bridge crackers. Some ruffles. Fruit gummies. And my breakfast bar and my coffee <laughs> and my water. I will say it's been strange this week not having a couch to just chill on in the living room. Y'all, since I got a new phone, I no longer have like the security passcode on my watch to let me into the office. And my manager's not here, so I'm just chilling outside. <laughs> I'm hanging out in the hallway. I found a random table. These are other offices, like I don't know these people. Happy Thursday. It's always something. <laughs> okay, update. The security guard can't even get me in because we have confidential stuff, so he doesn't actually have access to our office. So that's a fun fact we learned today. <laughs> update, you guys. We are in our office. The security guard went to the police department to get the keys to let me in. What an angel. He's amazing. He does above and beyond work for this building. So thankful for him. This coworker is on the way here. He gets here around nine-ish or whatever. But my manager, like I never beat him to work in like the five plus years I've worked for this man. <laughs> he's an early bird. He's here every day. And when he's not, he tells us. This is such a weird morning. Also, I should probably turn on the lights. Let there be light. Ta okay. I need to get to work. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm leaving work. We're sitting in a little bit of rush hour. I'm so glad I moved closer to the city because I don't have to sit in this as long. It's so nice. It was a good work day. I am so tired though. I had my training. It was one of the best trainings I've ever had at work. It was really engaging and fun. And we got to do like a real investigation and then started the auto report and got to hang out with my coworkers. I got all excited about making some hot tea, eating some soup, because it's kind of colder today. It's like in the lower 40s. Randomly. It's been super warm in the 70s until today. I was gonna get all cozy and go to bed early because I'm so exhausted. And then I remembered I have volleyball games tonight. Hey right, you guys, I'm getting ready for volleyball. I should have left like 10 minutes ago, but I took a nap. I take a nap before I do anything. And it was splendid. I slept for 40 minutes. But on my scuba socks. y'all it's almost nine o'clock we sucked at volleyball tonight that was one of our worst set of games we were just so cold so i got back and showered and then i decided to take a bath after my shower but i just needed to like warm up my muscles now i'm gonna eat dinner is the wrap that i had last night at the restaurant i ate the other two little pieces i had left over for lunch today and then my potatoes that i made with you guys the other day i guess yesterday and then i was just craving some chocolate milk <laughs> 
Oh, I need to show you guys my dining room table. Can't believe I forgot to show this to you guys. But I love this table so much because it's so unique. It's got a marble top. This thing is heavy as heck. I had to get four friends to help me carry it and put it together. Two little stools, a bench, and then two high chairs over here. But I got this on Marketplace, you guys, for $300. Like, what a steal. And it's like in perfect condition. Like, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just pristine. I am, I just love it so much. All right, guys, I'm gonna eat this dinner and then go to bed. But I'm hoping to stay up so I can talk to Tyler after work tonight. But it's gonna be a little late so but i did get a little nap in today i'm very thankful for that happy friday i just made my coffee i'm so glad it's friday we're gonna be working from home today working on the audit report we're gonna log on to work at eight o'clock we got the cold nook 9 30 i'm just checking away in this audit report you guys aren't missing much but i'm gonna make a yogurt bowl instead of a smoothie today this is kind of my typical second breakfast when i work from home but i'm gonna make this one a little sweeter just because i'm having a sweet tooth <laughs> First ingredient is yogurt. This is Greek strawberry yogurt. Next, I have them using a lot of strawberries, mostly because they're kind of going bad. So I wanted to go ahead and finish them off today since it's Friday. Next, I add granola. This is actually a fancier granola that my sister just gave me the other day. Then I add coconut because I love coconut. Then chia seeds. And then I top it off with some chocolate chips. These are the mini ones, just for a little bit of chocolate. And then I told y'all today this is gonna be a little bit sweeter than normal. So we're adding honey. <laughs> and now we have a super delicious yogurt ball. Logged off of work and then changed into a workout outfit. I went on a quarter mile sprint trying to get warmed up because my sister and I are gonna try out CrossFit. <laughs> so we're going to a CrossFit class in 30 minutes. I've never done CrossFit. I've done a lot of other workout classes. I hope we don't die. I hope we'll do okay. And I don't think I've lifted a barbell since like high school basketball. All right guys, we're about ready to go into our first CrossFit class. So exciting. Lyric's like actually a weightlifter. I do cardio, but <laughs> we'll let you guys know how it goes. Yeah. I'm really nervous. Me too. We survived. Yeah. Also, this is like 20 minutes later. We were so <laughs> red in the face. We actually look okay right now. So we're doing the workout for 30 minutes. We're both dying. We're sweating. And he said, okay, that's the warm up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then we started the real workout. For 16 minutes straight. And Lyric had a lot of weight on her barbell. Like I was very impressed. I literally had what, five pounds on each side and I had the lightest weight barbell. And then he was like, okay, now reduce your weight. And I was like, I literally can't go less than this. <laughs> and my arms were already shaking. It was so embarrassing. He was like, you can take all the weight off and just do the barbell if you want. I was like, in this class? Yeah. I'm so embarrassed. But we only had, what, five people in class? Yeah, it wasn't, bad. it wasn't bad. So that was nice, too. So it wasn't like a full class. We, we were obviously the new people, but I'm really glad we tried it. I don't think it's for either one of us right now, but I'm, I'm just proud of us for trying it. Amen. <laughs> so now we're going to go eat at Chewy's and have some Tex-Mex. <laughs> All right, guys, I just got home. It was 8 o'clock. Lyric and I went shopping, ran some errands and some things around town. Y'all, CrossFit was no joke. That was so intense. And I've done a lot of intense workout classes, and Orange Theory was probably the hardest thing I've done consistently. Just because you can't just willy-nilly go to an Orange Theory class. You have to prepare your day. You have to prepare your diet. You have to be hydrated because it's very intense. CrossFit was like double. Like, I was struggling from the first minute of that class. It was so hard. That was not, that was not fun. I'm gonna end the vlog here and it's Friday night. I'm home, I'm gonna shower and get to bed because I am so tired from this week. But thank you guys for hanging out with me this week. I didn't talk a whole lot about work, so I'm just gonna consider this like a week in my life just because this was, and everything got canceled this week. We just went with the flow. We adjusted every single day. That's just how I roll y'all, just last minute everything. But thanks for tuning in with me, you guys, and I'll catch you next time. Bye. Bye.